Hello, it's James Tennant here, and uh, in this video we're going to go over how to use the connection between Buzzsaw and Vault. Uh, this video is just going to be on the configuration, how to set it all up, and uh, and I'll do another video later of some of the functionality. So, the first thing you want to do to set up the synchronization between Buzzsaw and Vault is you want to make sure you've installed the add-in. Uh, the way I know I've installed it is because I've got all these, all this toolbar here that uh, that isn't usually there. So I've got a heap of extra buttons there, like you know, share to Buzzsaw, update from Buzzsaw, and so on. Once I've got that installed, I go to Tools and Project Sync Settings, which also was be has been installed with that add-in. This wasn't there before. Right. So once you've done that, you then want to go to uh, the Project Sync Settings and choose to enable Project Sync. Uh, once you've done that, you'll actually see that this uh, this bit here is all blank. Uh, now, I've done this before, so it's remembered my settings, but in your case, uh, you'll just have to put in your site information. Uh, site. Uh, you put in your username and your password, and, uh, and this information here can be communicated back and forth between Buzzsaw. So this is the Buzzsaw username and password, not your Vault username and password. Buzzsaw. From there you want to go and map out what folders you want to sync from Vault or to Vault. So if you click the little browse button there, you'll see the different folder structure that you've got available to you and this is the Vault folder structure. Now in my case I want to sync the GHD folder. And you can see I've actually got another GHD folder under there. This is just an example and I want to show you how that all works. And I'm going to go OK and I'm going to go and make that sync with a certain folder inside of Buzzsaw. Now the more folders you've got in Buzzsaw the longer this will take because it actually just tries to index all the folders in Buzzsaw so that it can get a complete list of all the folders. So when you have lots and lots and lots and lots of folders this will take a little bit longer. But um, for GHD initially I don't think there's going to be a problem. This only has to be set up once as well so it's not be a big problem. Right, so once it has pulled up a list of the folders, you'll then want to go and sync this folder with whatever folders then there. Actually, you can see I've already uh, done the sync, um, and this was just when I was testing it before. But in uh, in my case, I would sync to that folder there, which is a project folder. Uh, and I've got this other one here, which would have been created because I've uploaded some stuff from within there. Uh, I can actually show you that again if you like. Uh, go OK. And that's pretty much it. So all you're doing is you're defining, I want to sync this area with this area in Buzzsaw. So this area in Vault, sync with this area in Buzzsaw. Now, a lot of the time what clients will do is they'll sync the top level dollar sign here with the top level site name here. So basically that way the, the Buzzsaw will capture everything from within your Vault and output it to Buzzsaw. Uh, you want to be a bit careful with that because you certainly don't want to be sending the entire content of your vault out onto the Buzzsaw site. Um, but that being said, uh, if you do use the root directories of both Buzzsaw and Vault, you can sync anything from inside your um, inside your vault. But again, you just need to be careful not to click the Sync Now button, which will basically sync everything from Vault to Buzzsaw and vice versa. There is one other uh, synchronization. Uh, selection you want to look at and that is firstly what to sync and how to sync so you could go and make it a continuous sync so that way you don't need to click any buttons if it's changed in buzzsaw it'll sync back to vault and if it's changed in vault it'll sync back to buzzsaw um, but that being said uh, you've also got a daily option there and you've got a manual option which is the one we'll use for today uh, this one here is also an important one you want to make sure that you do not allow vault data to be deleted. Uh, the the reason why is you don't want someone deleting something in Buzzsaw and it deleting something in Vault. Um, you can choose to do that if you want, but it's uh, it's extremely not recommended to allow Buzzsaw to delete anything from inside Vault. So I'd strongly recommend you choose this. But that being said, 
whoever the user is you've logged in as. In this case, I'm logged in as the administrator. So if I chose that option, then absolutely it would delete whatever's not in there in Buzzsaw. But if I chose, um, if I was under, you know, just a normal user that doesn't have the unconditional delete option in their user profile, then that won't work anyway. So don't worry too much about it. Just be aware that the standard option should be do not allow uh, deletion of vault data. Finally, there's a proxy setting there you can set up as well if you need to use a proxy. Uh, it's mostly because of authentication. If you need to authenticate any web pages or whatever it is you're running, uh, you may need to enter some information in here. However, otherwise uh, you shouldn't need to. Go OK and that should set up the sync between Buzzsaw and Vault. To send anything from Vault to Buzzsaw, select on the folder if you wanted to send the entire folder. We can select on the file. In this case, I'll just select on the file. So you can see 3657 is the file that I want to send up to Buzzsaw. Well, let me just go and pick on a different one. This one might be a bit better one. Um, I like to pick nicer files. This one will do. <clears throat> so this one here is 3778, and I want to send that to Buzzsaw. To do that, I click Share to Buzzsaw, and that will actually create a job in the vault. Now, what I mean by job is actually when I'm running Vault, there's no magic link between Buzzsaw and Vault. There's actually a little uh, little processor that runs these jobs. So when I click Share to Buzzsaw, it's actually going and creating a job in my job list. And basically that job is going to get processed by what's called the job processor. If I want to look at the queue of what jobs are listed in there, I just go to Tools and job queue and this will give me a list of all the jobs that are in my job queue now for these jobs to run I'll need someone on the network anywhere it doesn't matter where you might have a machine that's dedicated for this job um, otherwise you might have everyone's machine running a version of the job server it's up to you on how you want to run this or configure it for your network but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and start up the job processor. I actually uh, I haven't started mine for the for the reason that I wanted to be able to see this in the job queue. But normally what I'd have is I'd have the job processor running all the time, and uh, and you can see there's Autodesk job processor 2013 4 volt professional, which is what I'm using. So when I select on that, you'll see the job processor highlights, and that job is processed by that job processor and you can see it's currently processing. Uh, if you start your job processor for the first time, it'll ask you to log in using your credentials. Put in your credentials, uh, click OK, and if you want it to start every time, you just choose that guy there and say start on Windows login. And that will mean that the next time you turn on your computer, you'll have this little icon here running in the background, and, uh, and he'll just be processing jobs. As I said, you can have as many of these job processes running on as many different computers as you want. Once I'm happy with that, you'll see no more jobs in the queue because this one's just finished completing that job. And now, only after that job has been completed, will I see the file. And I'm just going to log into Buzzsaw here in Buzzsaw. So when I go into Buzzsaw, I'll see the file that I just created and it's just been uploaded from the, uh, the Buzzsaw location or the, <laughs> the Vault location. Alright, well I hope that helps setting it up. Um, I will uh, I'll make another video for how to use it and what, uh, what some of the tips and tricks are. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.